Hey, Smiley. Catch you in the middle of work? Um, I was just perusing my emails. Um, what, what brings you here? I'm just uh, following up, seeing if there have been any updates on my sister's murder investigation. Well, if there were, I wouldn't be privy to them, so... You mean to tell me you haven't hacked into the PCPD's mainframe? The local police computer system ought to be a cakewalk for you, huh? Well, the PCPD has installed new firewalls that even I cannot penetrate. Yeah, the police weren't very forthcoming with me either. You know, it's amazing my own sister gets knocked off and nobody tells me a damn thing. That would be frustrating indeed. You know, Spinelli, not too long ago I took a handful of bullets for you in that warehouse shootout. It's an act of bravery that I will forever be grateful for. And you turned around and saved my life, and I won't forget that. Now, I understand you and I have loyalties in different places, but I would also appreciate that if you find anything out from the PCPD, why don't you let me know? Re regrettably, with the firewall in place, I... What's that? Uh... Oh! It's just, uh... <laughs> Intimate communique from Max Mista. <laughs> Get me posted. I shall. This is most dire. You, Lulu. <sighs> I gotta say, I'm liking this. Okay, don't, don't start, Ma, please. What? What? You've obviously been getting closer the last few months. You've saved her life about a half a dozen times now, and you're getting to the end of this painful investigation, and Lulu's your first concern. Okay, you can save your breath. Don't bother telling the relatives I have a girl, because Lulu and I don't stand a chance. Why don't you keep an open mind? Because when Sonny gets busted, I'll be exposed as the cop who took him down and become a target for retaliation. You don't know what's going to happen. I know I need to keep Lulu safe. I can take care of myself, but th there is no way on God's green earth that I'm going to allow Lulu to be put in any danger. I have never seen you like this about any girl. Hey, you're not listening to me, Ma. I, I am. I'm happen. listening. You need to stop being so doom and gloom. What are you talking about? Y you couldn't help but warn me of disaster for months, and now you're all positive attitude? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm your mother. I see you falling in love with a beautiful girl who I happen to like and approve of. She might even possibly be good enough for you. I'm allowed to hope for the best, right? Dominic's in your almost everyday meeting with the boss. Have you ever seen him do anything suspicious? You know, go through some papers or look at something he's not supposed to be looking at? No, I mean, I've walked in on him by Mr. C's desk a few times, but I didn't think much of it. You were on the boss's desk all the time. Yeah, you know, things get dropped off. Papers have to be sent to Bernie. The boss trusts Dominic with all that stuff. It's pretty routine. Okay, so I just want to make it clear here that it kind of sounds like you guys are defending Dominic a little bit. I like him. He's a stand-up guy. Powerful, too. Sometimes he brings us lattes. Would you shut up? Jason does not care about lattes. It says something about Dominic's character. It says he stops by Kelly's on his way to the house. Look, the point is, we got nothing negative to say about Dominic. Okay. It's fine. If you think anything, just let me know. You got her. Graciela. Hi. Hi. Uh, I just need to ask you a couple questions about Dominic. Oh, he's such a nice man. So kind and so helpful. <laughs> helpful how? Dominic is suddenly acting like it's too dangerous for me to be with him because he's in the mob. Well, that's very noble. Yeah, and a month too late. He spent all this time pursuing me, and now he wants to back off? What? Just thinking about all the complaining you did about Dominic's cheesy pickup lines. Oh, my gosh. They were such groaners. <laughs> well, they obviously worked. The more that Dominic hung around, the more I got to see the sweet side underneath. Hey, he won me over by being so nice to Morgan. Morgan fell in love with him from the start. My son has great instincts. So I've fallen for a terrific guy, and he's basically dumping me. From Dominic's point of view, it makes sense, Lulu. So you think that I should just let it go and, and say thanks for reeling me in, have a nice life? I think you need to take off the rose-colored glasses and look at the danger that I inflicted on myself and my kids by being involved with Sonny. And even Jason, 
even though he seems to be the exception to every rule. So do you regret it? Even when Sonny and Jason are completely wrong, are you sorry that you stayed loyal to them? No. I was just going over the guest list for uh, the christening Friday. Carly told me that you agreed to come. Yeah, well, she wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I'm still kind of on the fence about it. Oh, well, it was going to be a fantastic party. Thanks in no small part to me. <laughs> What's so chipper for? I mean, your whole world's about to come crashing down. Sonny's about to get busted. Dante's about to be exposed as the cop who brought the whole thing down. And you are about to be hired as the woman who kept it a secret from everybody she knows. Well, I see no reason to anticipate the worst. Your mood has been on an upswing ever since that mysterious errand that you ran. You want to tell me what you did? I'm just saying you keep looking at the worst possible case scenario when realistically anything could happen. Like what? Like, like maybe the case against Sonny won't hold water. You know something. Tell me. I spoke to someone high up in the Corinthos investigation. I told him about my ongoing relationship with Sonny. And he's taking Dante off the case. You don't have to everything that Dante did, risking his life to build this case. You double-cross your own child to protect Sonny? So Dominic has been helpful? Oh, yes. All these years I've been working for Mr. Corintos. <laughs> I mind my own business. I don't talk to his business associates. They, they don't talk to me. Well, Dominic's different? Oh, yes. He's so polite and so friendly. That boy's mother, he brought him up right. <laughs> he even helps with the chores. Wow, what kind of chores? Well, sometimes he takes out the trash. One time, he even took out the ashes from the fireplace. Do you remember one? Oh, um, just after Mr. Corinto's latest wife disappeared. God have mercy on her soul. It was the morning after that terrible rainstorm. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, I've worked for you for a lot of years, too. I know you're a fair man. <laughs> little Michael, well, not so little now. He's always been jealous of Dominic. If he's the reason that you are asking these questions, and I don't want to speak ill of anyone, I just want to say again, Dominic Pirelli is a good man. I appreciate you telling me this. And I'm going to try to do what you said, and I'm, I'm going to be fair. Oh, thank you. Excuse me.